from the very next day of uh, fire incidents took place uh, as you all know that uh, our facility burned down now we see turn into a health post with limited services but we are trying to do our best to provide service to the beneficiaries many of know that facilities were burned down they don't know where to go uh, so that we are sending our uh, CSW supervisor volunteers uh, engaging them to uh, deliver the message to the beneficiaries that we are ready to serve whatever they need. After the fire incidents took place to our facility, there is disruption in vaccination like for the outreach program. The right now it is not possible to provide the outreach vaccination, but we are with limited spaces and services we are providing EPI vaccine, which includes BCG, OPV, IPV, diphtheria, partosis, tetanus, hemophilus influenza, hepatitis B, measles and rubella. Also providing vaccine for the child-bearing mothers, uh, which included two doses, one month interval. Most of the beneficiaries are struggling with their livelihoods, so the idea of getting vaccination is out of their mind. We are trying to reconnect the bridge to community health worker to visit door-to-door -door and encouraging them to come to the facility for vaccination.